Oh, oh fuck. Ik heb er nog niet echt voor gezegd. I fucking hate you, Tom, at times. I really do. Oh, all the blood's rushing to my head because of you, you son of a bitch. See, I was filming this lizard, but it was really, really interesting. Once I was filming the lizard, that was really interesting. My mum and dad must have been coming at it, but I didn't know because I was too busy staring at a lizard. Shit, I'm halfway. Open that stupid door! Thank you. <laughs> Open the frickin' door! <laughs> Love is an open door, right? Uh, yes. Yeah. Only if that door happens to be the fridge. Give me food. See? See, a way to a man's stomach is a. Oh, fuck it! I forgot the lines! <laughs> A way to a man's heart is through his stomach. That's it. But that's not true, it's between the third and fourth rib. What, if you punch him through the stomach? <laughs> oh yeah, fuck it, no, that's all you did. <laughs> I'm gonna off now because I have to work tomorrow at work, so I'll see you guys later. Alright, you took it easy, alright? Hi. Uh, yeah. Get back to work, you yeah, sucker. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um, I'm gonna go too, because Dion is back home and he wants to sleep as well. That's all right. Yeah. You Otherwise, you're going to die. Well, we're all going to die. You're all going to die down here. Not the yes, people thing, did. All going to die. All right, you take it easy, girl. It's nice hearing from you and Dion and so forth. Goodbye. Goodbye. Look after thyself. Keep tight. Night, do. night. Actually, that's a good point. What time is it? Bye. I'm definitely going to get some sexy laundry when I go visit them. Pardon? So I'm definitely going to go get some sexy laundry before I go and visit them. <laughs> oh, Christ. Oh, what's the name of that guy again? Do you remember the, um, is it the Armageddon movie with Bruce Willis? I think so, yeah. What was the, um, was it Bear? Yeah, the big guy you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah, that was Bear. Is it when they're like, they're doing the um He's the one to play coffee as well. <laughs> yes. They're doing the strip down thing and he's just there with like a leopard print thong on. Yep. I must find myself one before I go visit. Yep. Oh that's another thing I need to get on um, Blu ray or D V D one or two. I don't care what anybody says, that's a good um, classic I like. It's a sad one. Sad one, but it's a good one. Right, left. This sub's going to power down any moment now because it's down to 1%. Kind of reminds me of my phone at times. <laughs> oh, fuck me. 100%, 100%. Okay. I honestly expected it to power down by now, but obviously it hasn't. <laughs> Looks like it proved me wrong. Well, I'm gonna move this piece of shit talky <laughs> of a sub. <laughs> Jesus! I could have rammed that thing and it has a nuclear generator on it and all. And I don't fancy that thing blowing up, just in case. <laughs> Cause the hole in my face. <laughs> actually, I better check if I haven't actually damaged it. <laughs> actually, I better turn the engine off. What the fuck? Uh oh, that's not good. No, oh. what's this? What's this? Oh, I'm not gonna have to die for <laughs> Oh, uh, I told you what we're doing for uh, work for December. No, you haven't actually. 
So we're all doing like outfits for obviously Christmas. Okay. Because we did it for like Halloween and shit. Mm hmm. So I said for a laugh, I was going to be the Grinch. Oh, that would be so you. My boss was like, no, I'm the Grinch. I was like, fuck you, are you the Grinch? Well, it depends which Grinch he wants to be. If you'd be the Jim Carrey um, Grinch. Oh, absolutely. He'd be probably um, Cumberbitch. <laughs> the Grinch. So, we went back to that questions earlier on, me and my co-worker were just asking random questions. Right. And we were talking about, like, if you could be in any movie and you were, like, the lead actor in that movie, but you had to live it as, you, as if it was your normal life. Do you want to know some of the other, like, books you come up with? Go on. Ace Ventura. Oh, fuck yes. The Mask. <laughs> And I was thinking to myself, mm, Robocop? And then I was like, no, I remember how badly he fucking has it. Yeah, especially when he loses an arm, loses everything, you know, gets shot in the head. Yeah. And then all suddenly, you know, <laughs> yep. Yeah, you want to remain on the top of the line. Don't get me wrong, Robocop, he's, um, you know, he's good. But the amount of punishment he takes. I don't think any man would want to go through that shit. He doesn't get sick days, he's fucking working 365 days a year. And he's always... Um, he doesn't get paid for it. Yeah, he's always controlled by, like, you know, <laughs> someone. Well, until he um, does things on his own eventually. When he fries himself and completely gets rid of all of his prime directives. Hmm. Why did I do that with the titanium now? Oh yeah, I was building saying that's what I was doing. Well halfway. If you could live in any cartoon, what cartoon would it be? Decisions, decisions dear. I'm stuck between the universe of He Man and at the same time Um there is another one. I know Transformers comes to mind, but I know a lot of people will choose that one. Um Oh, what else? There was another one. Well, I'll be nice. I'll let you pick two, because I did as well. Yeah. And you get to be the character from that universe as well. All right, naturally. Uh, let's see. Obviously, the, the um, He-Man universe, because uh, even though it, um, Eternia is f filled with um, a lot of dangers, it's like... Um, you know, like the creatures and that are there pretty much hostile and such. But it's still quite a fascinating place to actually avoid it. Yeah, but what character would you be? Ooh, I would say Man of Arms. I could see it. Yeah. I couldn't see myself as a human because that power and that and my responsibility. I would say more like um, Man of Arms or, or is his real name? Is, is it Duncan, I believe? I don't remember his running. Because I remember they referred to him as... Um, yeah, it was Duncan, yeah. Yeah, because I remember now. I can't think of the other universe now. Nah, lost. <laughs> so, one of mine was Ed, Ed and Eddie. Oh yeah, naturally. And of course I'd be Ed. <laughs> oh wait, I, f I found, think of another one. Samurai Jack's world. I'll be Aku. I'll be Aku, yeah, definitely. That motherfucker. <laughs> well, I know who I am in that universe as well. Go on. The Scotsman. The angry Scotsman, yeah. <laughs> yep. Fuck, what was the... Oh, and uh, the second cartoon I said was uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and I'd be Casey Jones. 100% yes. I'll say both 80s variant and <laughs> modern ones. <laughs> Just the fact that the 80s one was just completely <laughs> almost off the bat. 
<laughs> he was like Showing a wrecking ball. work in a suit and a fucking hockey mask. Yep. Chasing after some random person because he jaywalked or something like that. Just an excuse to bust him up. <laughs> what about uh, cricket? I'll definitely you say the movie. Don't understand what a crump it is. Don't understand what cricket is. Did you? <laughs> I would definitely say the movie variant of um, Casey Jones is definitely more on your line. One hundred percent. Oh yeah, especially when him and Donnie play that insult game as well. Oh yeah, the um, going from what A to Z and all that lot. Yeah, A to Z just using insults. Hmm. And of course he's up. Um, what letter are we on? G. Here we go, gap face. I'm ready, hose brain. <laughs> I still find it funny when he calls him a dome head and he's like, wipes his head and he's like, oh, flips. <laughs> <laughs> I got me there, like, chatting to my buddy about it. I've surprised quite a few times, like, neither of us picked the main characters. Like, it was always side characters. Mm. I think with me, I can't see myself as the main character because I see myself as a... I mean, maybe when I was little, I probably would have. But because of... Um, well, I think it's because of our age and such like that that we see things a little bit more differently now. And we're a little bit more wiser and such like that. So I think we see ourselves as more the, like, either the side characters or something else. Well, except for when it comes to Samuel Jack, obviously, Haku is not a side character. He's a fucking <laughs> main villain. <laughs> He's my alter ego, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> what can I say? It's been 50 years. I thought he would just die. <laughs> but he hasn't even aged. Oh, I do need to get that, um, the whole bot it on um, DVD as well of the Samurai Jack. I know my sister's probably already ahead on that one. Because um, she she was the one that actually got me into that. I blame her for that. That and um, Techno Man as well. I was, I was I know that one. Um, it's the guy that goes into um, a Techno suit. Um, I think the Japanese called it uh, Techno Man or something like that. No. 100% mm. yeah, what um, recommend um, watching it if you ever actually come across it. It is spelled as Techno Man, the English um, version is, but I know the Japanese one is uh, T E K K E R, I believe. And, oh, was it an A? -A? Yeah, I don't know. But either way, it should be on the, um, you know, that website that you showed. Yeah, I can't use it no more. Ah. It requires uh, you to register and sign up for it. Ah, I see. So they even know playing it by the law now. Shit, I ain't got another fucking thing. Doesn't matter. Just be patient. Right. So how much power have I got in this rust bucket? It says 100%. Bullshit, oh, it's got 100%. I think, Sorry, because we were like talking about old cartoons as well. I really surprised him with like, uh, do you know Shredder used to be Uncle Phil? He was like, what? <laughs> A lot of people always was like, oh, like that as well. They were like, you just say to them that, yeah, did you know that, um, that, that, that the shredder was played by Uncle Phil, and it's like, what the fuck? No way. <laughs> yeah, that's why we're saying, like, pillowy mounds of mashed potatoes. Mmm, pillowy mounds of mashed potatoes. Oh, wait, a film reactor thing. Yeah, it's, it was the one thing that Uncle Phil said that's always sprung to my mind. Mm. And I just always picture the shredder saying it. <laughs> He's become a super shredder. <laughs> Let's think now. Oh, that's what I was going to do. Let's have a look. No, not that. What makes... Oh shit, I ain't got hydrochloric acid. I need a shrooms. Things I do for love. That's it. I'm getting me mallet. 
I can't even do his fucking cowardly scream. Not anymore. Oh. Oh, what a mother bitch. <laughs> ah, a copper white arrow gel. Well, luckily for me, I have those. I just thought of another funny one as well. Oh? Being the main character in Johnny Bravo. Hey, pretty mama. Hey, 911. There's a handsome <laughs> guy in there. So scratch that, it's just me. I must admit, when I first saw Johnny Bravo, I'd have seen this before. Yeah, it was a dude who could look alike, sort of thing, but a dumber version. Hey there, pretty lady. Whoa, mama. Hey there, pretty mama. Fancy getting with a guy like me? Oh, uh, no, you don't have to admit. I am that hot. And you used to come up with some other quirky stuff as well. Oh, I still remember the two times you got catfished. Oh, bloody hell. Didn't even think about that back then, now that I think about it. <laughs> so yeah, he was like trying to hit one girl to know that she was actually a deer. <laughs> and then like the second time, uh, it was a werewolf type person. That on, I think it was like a Thursday or a Friday, changed into a fat man that was obsessed with stamps. <laughs> Guiding intellect. Mine. That'd Peace be a fun wolf. AI to have. Go on. Just that Beast Machines uh, Megatron for your AI for your sub. Yeah. That would definitely be a good AI. I actually didn't think about that until you now. Yeah. Nor did I. You know what? Yes, I will definitely have him. <laughs> <laughs> He would probably be talking to himself half of the times, but you know. Vital signs stabilizing. Oh, can you imagine it's somebody? Just like that. <laughs> <laughs> can you imagine uh, somebody uh, just reprogramming this and having that Megatron voice in it? That would be so funny. <laughs> Vital signs are dropping. Good. I don't need to be the one to remind you, but you might need to seek fluid intake. Have you had your dose of Energon lately? No? Too bad. I've got plenty of right Energon here. levels are dropping. Do you know what? I can If I can pick a third one um, universe to be in, I'll definitely say the Beast War one. Definitely 100%. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I'll definitely be Rat Trap because obviously he's all. <laughs> we all go to <laughs> I can't even take without laughing because it's so true. Man. Maybe it's like loud and sorry, but this is good to know where you stand. Preferably <laughs> upwind from you, rodent. Do you know what? Alongside Cheetah, I can also imagine you being um, Dinobot as well. The. Um, not, yeah, being the first Dinobot, just due to the fact he has a lot of honour in him and the way he just takes on um, the others, like so-and-so. So Override! Alright, what else do I need for this hunk of junk? Apart from the water thing and a script. Just one scene in that that still, to this day, makes me giggle internally. Go on. It's when, um, Ty uh, is it, yeah, Tigertron, no Tigertron, fucking Silverbolt shows oh, up. Oh, yeah. And Ratchap's like, I know a place where the women walk around without their chess pieces on. And like, it cuts back to, like, Cheetor, and he's just like, what's going on? I actually forgot all about that part, actually, now that I think about it. <laughs> oh, yeah. The Master Sneaker <laughs> Tiki Bar joke into a ch uh, children's cartoon. Yeah, I didn't even think about that then. <laughs> but then again, <laughs> who does?
Oh wow, cook fish. Looks like we have fish skin. Seconds. Looks like fish is back on the menu, boys. <laughs> I need it. I need it. Oxygen. I need oh, fuck. <laughs> I wasn't about to give birth from a fucking rhino either. <laughs> <laughs> Bulkheads, that's what I need. Not bulkheads, um. Eh, eh. Enforcements? That's the one, thank you. Maybe I can fucking build that. Fine. Take you out. Take you out. Now can I build pretty please with cherry on top? Thank you. And one for good measure. And now for the, uh, where's the war thing? Oh, got copper, what? No, that's gonna get in the way of everything. Oh, fuck it. Oh, in the way. Now I can get past that. <laughs> right. Uh, got three rods in there, that would do. In the jungle, the mighty jungle. The lion sleeps tonight. Alright, Perry, calm down. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Miss Patterson, can I can I have a jump service, please? Get the fuck away from my sub you ugly piece of shit. Get away from him, you bitch! <laughs> Any bitch right now? Ooh. Vital signs stabilizing. No, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay. Don't need to worry about it. Oh, so this will be my fourth place? Yes. <laughs> Tell you what, tomorrow's going to be really confusing for the customers. Oh, I. Well, I'm in. Mm. And the area manager's in. We're both called Tom. <laughs> All systems online. Double T's. They did make the joke as well. Uh, the next person we hire has got to be called Jerry. <laughs> Vital signs stabilizing. Sounds like you're getting tired, buddy. Ah, uh, tired of work. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, gold. No, nine hour shift tomorrow with the fucking B man. You love it, I know. <laughs> New creature discovered. Oh, 
can't do nothing with that. Oh, how about the phone? I found something. What the phone? Deep shrooms. Come here. Fine, fuck you then. <laughs> <laughs> fuck me! No, fuck, fuck you! you. I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. I don't give a fuck if you're at the top. <laughs> I wish I could remember where I heard that from. <laughs> I think it was a prank phone call. <laughs> I can imagine so. Right, now then. Ooh. Oh, it's just rocks. Ooh. Ooh, magnetite. If you could be any wrestler, who would you be? Hulk Hogan. Or the Undertaker, one of the two. No, I'd definitely say Hogan. Any excuse to rip my shirt off? <laughs> I'd be the Japanese Ronald McDonald. <laughs> nice. <laughs> you know the one I showed you. <laughs> yeah. I saw that. I was like, <laughs> killing myself laughing. <laughs> it was so good, though. That totally would be my fighting style as well. Yeah, especially where you would just start. Uh, yeah, especially with all the bashing around and all that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Tickling the nuts, pretending to suck people off. Oh, yep. Yeah. Ah, salt deposit, hey? I think I've got salt here. You get to live in the Men in Black universe, but it's from the third movie. Aha. Uh -huh. Right. You know, the international one. The fucking shit one. Yeah, that's why I was like, aha, uh -huh, right. Because <laughs> I was waiting. Cause I was thinking, oh, that is right. it. You get to live in that universe, but you're in that fucking that movie. You're not in the good first two. I would say, kill me. <laughs> These are the sort of questions that me and my co-worker were asking each other. <laughs> I kept thinking, like, what's good that I can make bad? We got here with you. Oh, we got copper as well. So I can make myself water supply. <laughs> Sorry. Like, uh, you get 2,000 quid a week. Just someone knocks on your door and puts it in your hand. There's a price to this. However, however, one random day during that week, you are hit for the entire day with just crippling diarrhea. Fuck, that's going to hurt. I'll do it. Now go well, on. that's 114,000 a year. And crippling diarrhea for four, for every four, I mean, for four, four times in a month. 
Uh, so, I guess I could eat whatever the fuck I want and not worry about um, putting on the weight, I guess. So, four times a week. So that would be... 48 times a year. Fuck. Yeah. Well, at least my shit could go to some good use as well, because I suppose it could be fertilizer or maybe go towards powering up something. <laughs> well, remember, this is crippling. Yeah, I know. I am thinking of the pain side of things, and I'm thinking... <sighs> what did I need to make? I need gold. That's what I needed. I, you know what? I'll say that I no longer need gold in this game, and all of a sudden now I'm like, oh, I need gold now. The things I do. Ooh, hold together, baby. Right. You can enter a competition with 19 other people. If you win, your greatest desires become true. If you lose, a random part of your personality becomes opposite. You're probably asking which personality would I choose? No, just is a random part of your personality changes. Oh, blimey. You don't get any choice over it. That is a good question. I probably would take it up, hoping that I'll win. But although, losing that part of personality would probably be slightly lose me. So, no, I will definitely have to decline despite the fact that there's a 50-50 chance of me winning, but... There's also there's a not a 50-50% chance of you winning. It's a 1 in 20 chance of you winning. Oh, in that case, it's definitely uh, a big no. Despite the fact. Ooh, I'm getting better at this. <laughs> so I say. But then you also remember, that even though your greatest desires were also granted, mm -hmm. at the same time, you've got to realise you've just caused 19 people as well to lose parts of their personality. Yeah, that's why I... Oh. That's also... <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah. That's why I will actually definitely cry, because I'm not going to be responsible for that shit. Because, uh, yeah. I'm not, no, fuck that. I'm not going to do that, because that would make you feel guilty. <laughs> fuck that. No. I'm I, I, I not getting involved. I'll say, yeah. You, you lot can get involved. Fuck me get involved, because I'm not being responsible for that shit. <laughs> that's, that's why it's a good question. Your deepest, greatest desires come real. But at the same time, you've just caused 19 people's personalities ever so slightly to change. <laughs> uh, huh? So, say for example, you uh, did it with someone who was very sort of caring and supportive and donated to charities. Yeah. And you won. They suddenly become very coveted, want all the money to themselves. And they're very selfish. Yeah, something I couldn't allow to happen because... People like that are needed more in this world. I mean, that's like, well, changing a few, well, changing um, a lot of friends I know that um, has um, the whole kindness um, personality. So, I'll be like, nope. Hmm. However, it could also do the benefit as well. If they had anxiety and they were scared, it could change it so they were more bold and very sort of outgoing. That is true. You don't know what part of their personality is going to change. That is a good point. Hmm. Hmm. Right. 
back down a goat. <laughs> so he asked me one as well, right? You are stuck in a lift for eight hours with three celebrities you fucking despise. Shoot me now! But, <laughs> see, but you're not allowed to actually like attack them or anything like that. Yep. It's like, he says to me, do you reckon you could do it? I said, fucking easily. Um, yeah, I think I think I could, but it depends on the celeb, I guess. Well, it's three people you don't like. Three people I don't like. Oh, I think so. I'm not allowed to kill them. Not allowed to cause harm to them. Nope. So, nope. oh boy, you were like, there's. Well, I was like, yeah, I could do it. Wouldn't be easy, but I could do it. <laughs> 